Trigger points can be caused in back, neck, and shoulder muscles when those muscles are overused. Not necessarily strenuously, but for long periods of time, like using the mouse on a computer, driving a car, or carrying bags while shopping or traveling. These activities don't make our muscles fatigue to the point where we stop the activity like running or lifting weights. With these low-level activities, our muscles have adapted to continue to be able to perform for long periods of time, although with some temporary damage, what we call trigger points. Using the sliding filament model, we'll discuss how trigger points are created and how they can be released. Our muscles are made up of long chains of muscle cells called sarcomers. Here we see a basic representation of parts of a microscopic sarcomer and some chemical reactions working to make a muscle contract. When a muscle gets the signal to contract, calcium enters the sarcomer and reveals a binding site on a thin filament called actin. Myosin heads bind to the site and bend, causing the myosin fibril and the actin filament to slide across each other, resulting in the shortening of the sarcomer. When this happens to millions of sarcomers in a muscle, the muscle contracts. The energy the muscle uses to do the work is called ATP. ATP is not used to make the myosin head bind or bend. ATP is actually used to release the myosin head from the actin, effectively cocking it like a spring of a mousetrap waiting for calcium to set off the next bind and bend cycle. This reaction converts the ATP to a low energy molecule called ADP. The ADP is removed from the cell and the cycle can start over again. Inside each sarcomer are many myosin heads working together to make the sarcomer shorter. The myosin head movements and chemical reactions occur very quickly, hundreds of times per second. So a continuous stream of energy or ATP must be available for the muscle to maintain a contraction. Trigger points are caused because the biology of nature has a way of allowing these muscles to continue to do their requested work, but without all the energy that would normally be required. We can see that when a muscle is asked to hold a position, like holding your shoulders while you operate your keyboard or mouse, the myosin heads use up lots of energy because they have to basically run in place to hold that position. Nature's way of conserving energy while not letting the muscle go is to stop the chemical cycle and leave the myosin heads bound to the actin filament, creating a localized cramp or involuntary contraction. This of course doesn't happen to all the sarcomers at once, but over time it happens to more and more of them. You notice this when you do something like carry a heavy bag for a long time. When you get the chance to put it down, it's actually hard to let it go, and it takes a few stretches to get your hand and arm muscles moving again, and sometimes this can create trigger points in your forearm and wrist. Carrying the bag is also a lot of work for your back and shoulder muscles, which are not nearly as easy to stretch or loosen so the trigger points can fester, especially if you have to carry that heavy bag or do whatever causes your trigger points every day. In nature, trigger points, or myosin heads, would release on their own if you didn't have to keep doing the activity that causes them. But in modern daily life, we can't always give our muscles the time to heal before we need to use them again. The way to treat trigger points is knowing that the myosin heads of a tired sarcomer or trigger point can be manually released if the conditions are right. Many times, the right conditions require only a simple stretch of the muscle and a release can occur, sometimes with an audible popping sound and instant relief. Sometimes, in muscles that are difficult to stretch or that have years of trigger point buildup, it may take weeks of stretching and manual manipulation to achieve a release. Full relaxation and ability to stretch the muscle is required for effective therapy, which will be discussed in the next segment.